Very good. Couldn't they practice with sticks or something? I'm not sure I'm equipped to reattach arms or legs or heads. The great doc not up to a real challenge? Thought your skills were second to none. I never said I wasn't skilled, just that I'm not equipped. Yeah, for that. Reattaching limbs. It's a poor workman who blames his tools. saw a planet, far away, remote, and an island city. Rishi? No, I didn't. Wasn't me. I've never heard of the place. A glitch? Sabotage? Confirmation. We need to travel to Rishi right away.
Take a slice of Narshada and drop it on the beach, and you've got Raider's Cove. Don't lean against anything. It might collapse. from the Red Hulls, aren't you? Welcome to Raider's Cove! Nothing but fellow pirates here. You and your crew don't have to kill or maim or eat anyone. Right? Kill or what? Eat people? What are you talking about? It's what you do. Everyone knows. And it's no big deal. I'm sure those people your crew ate on Talaran had it coming. But we're all friends here, right? No need for any massacres or cannibalism here. <laughs> ah, as captain of the Red Hulls, I promise no massacres or cannibalism. Definitely no cannibalism. Oh, that's a relief. After everything Goro was saying about you, I mean... He's the one who said you were coming. He won't shut up about it. Said he really wants to take you on. I'm sure he's just bluffing, though. Where can I find this Goro person? Ah, uh, the cantina? Probably. He hangs out there a lot. They serve good food there. No need to eat anyone.
There, good as new. You must be Goro. Bampaula Kavaji Oto. Easy, Goro. I just cleaned up after your last brawl. Don't do this to me again. Kafstu undile, jigo hola lukuta. Who told you that I'm the captain of the Red Hulls? Makipu na malituta o nishka. Fighting me won't prove anything. I'm not this pirate you think I am. Patonka. the worst mess yet. You, uh, you're not gonna eat him, are you? That's the last thing I need people hearing about my place. Please, listen to me. I am not a cannibal. I'm not a pirate. I just came for information. I didn't want any of this to happen. Yeah, well, Goro did. When he sees, saw a chance for blood, he always went for it. No talking him down. Do you know who told Goro about me? Kai Saiken. He's an idiot that runs one of the crews here in town. Goro had just come from one of Saiken's Sabak games when he started talking you up. Had to be him. I don't let Saiken or his goons into my place. You'll have to find them out in town somewhere. And watch out for Goro's brother. He's a handful. I want some information. <laughs> You're, so dead. You're fine. I'm looking for someone. I'm gonna be a legendary pirate killer. for someone. Scoundrels forever! I'm looking for someone. You didn't hear from me, okay?
There, good as new. Kai Zyken? Huh? Uh, uh, no speak basic. Uh, ni wanna wonga? Neither did Goro, apparently. This is not my day. Hello! Yes, I am indeed Kai Zyken. Though there are probably lots of people with that name. Just saying. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not who you think I am. I just want information. Yeah, information on getting your credits back. Come on, this isn't my first shakedown. You don't really need those credits now, do you? As in, now, now? Pay your debt and information. I want to know who told you about me. Don't make me ask again. Oh, well, if that's all you want, there was someone who tipped me off that you were coming. Go on. It's, uh, it was a message, so I saved it on my data pad. Yeah, with a couple. Yeah! Oh. Great! He put it in the lockbox! It's all yours! Anything else in there, too, you just help yourself. You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you. <laughs> You'll leave us be if you know what's good for you.
Titan. Greetings. I have important information for you. The Red Hulls may be the galaxy's most bloodthirsty and sadistic pirate crew, and they're heading towards Rishi. I'm sure you remember the debt that you owe the Red Hulls. Quite a few credits. Not something they're likely to forget. My droids are spreading word of their arrival. If you were to do the same, they might be too distracted to come after you. The choice is yours, of course. Gentle being, let me regale you with the tale of the dread red hulls and their monstrous, flesh-eating captain. Oh my! You are the monstrous, flesh-eating captain of the red hulls! What a singular pleasure to meet you! Who programmed you to say these things about me? I'd be happy to tell you. Very eager to meet you, after all. Big fans. You can find them at these coordinates, but do be careful. After your magnificent duel with Goro, there may be others out for revenge. Excuse me, you there? Have you heard of the Dread Red Hulls and their monstrous flesh-eating captain?
unstable, bro. Now, guy, now, guy. Dino to Omo Savo. Dino to Omo Shapo. I'm sparing you. I wish I could have done the same for your brother. Please remember that. Hey there. Theron? Lana? You're the ones behind all of this? Guilty as charged. Sorry if we put you out, but we had to be cautious. The Revanites have gone to increasingly severe lengths to hunt us down since we destroyed their operations on Ricarta Prime. We had to get you here to help us without leaving a trail. Sorry we couldn't be more... direct. After so long, I started to think you'd run back to the Empire without even saying goodbye. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. All right, let's focus here. We need to go after the pirates that run things on Rishi, the Nova Blades. They butcher entire starship crews and enslave anyone on Rishi who stands up to them. And now we've learned that they're working with the Revanites. The Nova Blades are being sent to attack trade lanes in very specific areas. They've gradually remapped quite a bit of stellar traffic. It's all very strange. No one would expect a Jedi, a Sith, and a Spy to work together. But here we are. Circumstance alone brought us together. The Revanites chose their allies very specifically. We must learn why. We need to shake the Nova Blades down, find out what they know. Their computers could tell us everything. But a direct attack on the Blades' base now might make the Revanites suspicious. We need to hide our real motives. So that's why you told everyone I'm a pirate. When I attack them, it will look like a fight between gangs instead of a targeted move. Exactly. Now before we send you for the main event, we should hit a few other Nova Blade holdings to solidify the cover story. The Blades have a supply cache hidden nearby. Once the Red Holes have destroyed it, word should spread quickly. We have some... mutual friends who are excited to help with the task. They'll meet you in the field to settle the details. Jakaro and C2D4? The very same. While you're hitting the supply cache, we'll keep spreading the word about your grudge and see if we can find any other targets. Sound good? Just be sure you don't make things too colorful. People think I'm bad enough as it is. I think going after the Nova Blade should increase your popularity quite a bit. Good luck.
<laughs> Must you complain so loudly, Master? There could be ruthless pirates or hungry wildlife all around us, hearing us, smelling us. You should watch out for cannibals, too. Apparently that's actually a problem around here. Well, I think I'm safe on that account, at least. Hopefully. <coughs> Theron and Lana said you'd have a plan? <coughs> you mean... We don't have to go charging in face first this time? We're staying in the ship? Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you. Oh, yes. Please make sure it's clear that this was the work of the Red Holes. We need to keep up appearances, after all. Very well. Let's get started. Circuits cross for collateral damage. Oh, my God. 
war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Marcock... We don't have to fight. Just tell me what you know about the Revanites. Oh yeah, sure. Why don't I go ahead and feed you and put you up for the night while I'm at it? I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. There. Good as new. <laughs> Theron, do you read me? The supply cache has been destroyed. Nice work. I believe one more assault on the Nova Blades holdings should be enough to solidify our pirate feud and disguise our true goal. One of the Blades mentioned a slave camp. Do you know anything about it? We do. You remember me saying that the Nova Blades basically run things around here? For the most part, they're pretty hands-off. But if someone stands up to them or fails to pay their fees to live here, the Blades grab them and ship them off to the slave camp. The slaves are a substantial part of the Nova Blades' income, both through their labor in hazardous mines and as merchandise for off-world slave traders. According to our information, the slaves are kept on a remote island under heavy guard. Do you think you can manage to free them? You really aren't like other Sith, are you? I like to think I'm my own woman. Since we don't know the island's exact coordinates, your best bet is to stow away in one of the shipping containers the Nova Blades take out there. Once you reach the slave camp, you can catch them by surprise, break up the security, and free as many as possible. All in a day's work for a noble Jedi, yes.
You're getting off this island. Uh, wow, thank you. We'll head out in one of them shipping deals till you're ready to go. Carl, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. Your debt's the least of the Nova Blades' worries right now. I believe it. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. I tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright? I got the slaves off of the island. We heard. Word of your raids is going around fast. Even the Revanites have heard about the Great Red Hulls. We just intercepted this transmission from the Nova Blades headquarters. This is ridiculous! How am I supposed to hold up our part of the deal if you won't give us any backup when we're in trouble? Then perhaps we should seek other allies. I'm sure there are other crews on this planet who are capable of managing their own affairs. Hey. We've done our share. You wanted the shipping lanes raided, we raided them. You wanted stragglers picked off from the big battles, we did it. And your clumsiness cost us our Mandalorian allies. Torch and her crew of old fossils, we're better off without them. And I'm beginning to think we're better off without you. Deal with your own problems, if you want to prove otherwise. Do you know anything about the Mandalorians they mentioned? I've heard people around town mention Torch, but I didn't realize she was tied to the Blades or the Revanites. Might be a good lead for later. Right now, though, I think we should press our advantage against the Nova Blades. Agreed. The Nova Blades are based out of an old crashed warship, the Aggressor. You've probably seen it off in the distance. You need to hit them hard. Make it look like the goal is to completely crush them, so nobody notices when we raid their computer cores for intel. Chikaro is refueling his ship as we speak. While you approach the aggressor, you can use your target designator to call for his assistance, just like before. I'll contact you as soon as I reach the aggressor, and then we can finally get the answers we need. May the Force be with you.
source for collateral damage. tourists in the outer rim you've sold your last slaves the nova blades are finished we'll see the nova blades found at raiders cove we've been here long before you and we'll still be here long after i can get the doors open but it looks like the nova blades have their own slicers on staff so i can't get any real data i'll take care of them good luck to the place. See what you can do about opening a line for me to slice in remotely. This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? Dozens of comm logs in here, hundreds, sent to people all over the galaxy. Coruscant, Droman Kaas, Corellia. The names are all encoded, but breaking through that is only a matter of time. I'm gonna get started right away. Great work. 
You should hurry back. Despite what we overheard earlier, the Revanites could show up at any moment to try and help their allies. Besides, I think we've earned a bit of a celebration. I'll be back in no time. Perfect. Welcome back. You've achieved more in your short time here than we ever thought possible. You should be proud. That's kind of you to say. Perhaps working together like this means there's hope for a more peaceful future. Perhaps so. I also said we should stop for decorations on the way. Now the party's terrible and it's our fault as much as theirs. Hey. Slicing the Nova Blade files is slow going, but I've already found more references to this torch person that Margok and Revan were talking about. She definitely heads up a group of Mandalorians based here on Rishi. They were allied with the Revanites, but then broke ties. And not on good terms. If we can find Torch and get her talking, she might give us some good intel. Maybe even help us take the Revanites on. We don't know anything for sure yet. It's best to be cautious when it comes to Mandalorians. Fair enough. It looks like Torch and her crew control their own island not far from here. Think you could head over and see what she has to say? This is gonna end badly. Wait and see. I'm sure you can handle one aging crew of Mandalorians. <laughs> Everything you just heard, it's important. Remember it, but it can wait a little while. There's something I want you to see. Who's there? Follow your feelings and you'll find it. I grew up here, you know, and I mean here, this house, not just Rishi. Of course, I was young when the Jedi found me. Don't remember much more than the walls, a, a blanket and a few friendly faces. Master Orgas. But it seemed as good a place as any to visit one last time. Hello, Padawan. Got time for a final lesson from an old friend? It's good to see you, Master. Any lesson you have to share, you know I'll listen. Whether you'll act on it is something else, hmm? It's good to see you, too. Since you set out to defeat the Emperor, you've been fighting almost non-stop. You've been waist-deep in dirt and fear and blood. Since the Emperor's fall, the war has only gotten uglier. And there are dark times coming for the galaxy and for you. You've sensed what's to come? Just a little. And I'm worried you'll forget why you're fighting. Defending the Republic, vanquishing the Sith, those are tools a Jedi uses in the service of life, of people. Not ends unto themselves. When I fight, I'm fighting to preserve life, not destroy it. I serve the Force, and the Force is peace. I don't doubt you, but when's the last time you felt connected to that peace? We're going to take a little time, help the people of Rishi. Folks eking out a living good and bad, living in fear of guns and pirates. You're going to make their lives better, as only you can. You're going to feel why 
You're a Jedi. Master Orgus, I have an urgent mission. I know what you're saying, but this isn't the time. Then when is? You can't go on like this. And I promise, we won't let the galaxy die because you were feeding a child. Very well. Where do we begin? There are a lot of people without homes on Rishi. Those people are catching Tamaman fever. On Corellia, they cured for free. Here, no one much cares. No one but you. Your doc can treat a person in minutes. You've got a ship packed with food and medicine. I understand. Yes, you do. No Sith Lords, no ancient evils this time. Just doing a bit of good. This one won't remember you. Don't take it personal. But he will bring joy back into his wife's life. She'll be stronger for it, and she'll build a stronger community. changed a lot of lives, but we're not done yet. The monsoon baffles protect the spaceport during the wet season, or they're supposed to when they're not broke. Pirates just take shelter, but everyone else spends months wading through water, miserable and struggling. What do you suppose they'd use those months for if they weren't hurting? You've got technical training and one of the best astromechs in the galaxy. See what you can do about it. That season's going to be better next year. Folks will work better, eat better. They'll have time to sit and talk and dream of a better future. You can do that when you're not scrambling to survive. One more job for you. Give you a little exercise. Gang war years back left a lot of buildings in ruin. All that rubble's still there. Scrap hauler droids could do the job in hours, but scrap haulers are a luxury for these people. A Jedi with a lightsaber and the Force Thorn. You could clean it up easy. Could you've done go? You've changed a lot of lives here and there. Those lives will affect others. Ripples can become a tsunami. Next year will be better. But in ten years, these people will send the pirates packing. Those who don't settle down. In a century, Rishi will thrive. The locals will live in harmony with life and nature. It started today. With you. They won't remember. But be proud. Master Orgus? You know, when I died, <laughs> strange to say that, it wasn't my victories that gave me comfort. It was all their faces, the people I'd helped, the people I'd served, made the pain forgettable. Suppose you last long enough to see the war end. How will you live? How will you find comfort when your time finally comes? When the war ends? I hope to be rid of my lightsaber forever. I want a quiet life. I got a farm or cooking street food on Coruscant. 
Sometimes the force leads us to simplicity. I hope you find what you want. What we did today, I lied a bit. It wasn't just about helping Rishi or reminding you why you fight. It was about healing an old scar you've almost forgotten. One that still aches inside you. The Emperor. You were under his control. His darkness soaked through to your spirit. When we freed you, you pushed the memories of his training down deep. I can bring those memories back. You're strong enough to handle them. Let the light cure them and make you whole. I'm not looking for healing. What happened, happened. I have to deal with it myself. Then all I ask is that you remember Rishi and the people you served here. I'll remember. Then it's my time to go. Thank you, Master Orgus, for all you've done for me. May it bring you peace. It already has. You won't see me again, Padawan, but you won't have to. You won't be alone in the dark days to come. The Force will be with you always. Ni as igi let parnat afendel sentenia. 